did you uh, know that you were about to become a teacher? Well, I did not know that I was going to become a teacher, but um, it so happened that in the uh, Hindi classes that I was attending, I, we had to put up a skit and I was asked to be the teacher. And uh, so it was really enjoyable uh, acting as if I was a teacher. And um, my Hindi teacher also said, uh, maybe when you grow up you should become a teacher. Uh, so that stuck in my mind. But um, I didn't particularly plan to become a teacher as such. But yeah, now that I am, <laughs> And um, you know, I have a wonderful students like you. It's really, really nice. What was your uh, dream as a young lady, as a young girl? Well, yes. That's, uh, this is something I will, will only share with my students, nobody else, because people will laugh at me if they knew. But till I was around 10 years old, you know, I wanted to become a film star. Okay. Because I thought it's, film stars become famous in their lifetime. You know, many scientists and uh, others, they become, even painters for instance, I mean, they're not on this, they become famous after they die, but I wanted to be famous in my lifetime. How would you describe yourself as a younger being, I mean, as your younger you? Uh, yeah, I, I would uh, say I was um, more of an obedient sort of a student, uh, wanting to do whatever the teacher said and uh, keep within the rules uh, of uh, the school. Uh, all right. Though I did, there was one occasion where I spilled ink on my school uniform, okay. and the teacher was very uh, annoyed about that. You know, it, there, there was no rule that you can't spill uh, ink on your uniform, but and I did it accidentally. But nonetheless, I did get a tongue lashing for that. Yeah, I would ask you, uh, maybe if you could share some of your funny incidents which happened, uh, you know, in your classroom or maybe uh, with you back at school. Well, I will, uh, I'll tell you uh, an embarrassing moment I had. This was, you know, at my first job after my PhD. I had joined uh, Tata Management Training Center in Pune as an assistant professor. And um, this was, you know, it was my first job after my PhD. And I had just started uh, working and teaching. And, uh, you know, I used to be uh, quite um, anxious about whether the class would go off well and so on. And in uh, one of these early classes, okay. I happened to go there. And mind you, the, the uh, people who sat in the class, they were not, uh, uh, you know, youngsters like you, MBA students. Okay. They were uh, executives, working executives. So they were grown-ups. So I was more anxious because I have to um, impress them. Yes, yes. But it also happened that I was wearing um, big heels at that time. <laughs> And uh, yes. it was the first or second time I was wearing those shoes. And you know, in my anxiety and my desire to impress, I was uh, you know, wa walking up and down the classroom okay. and suddenly I teetered on those heels and fell down there. Oh, and that was really embarrassing. I mean, <laughs> now if I fall down, maybe I wouldn't mind so much. But then, <laughs> I, mean, I just yes, started yes. teaching. That was, that was embarrassing.